Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it's Saturday afternoon and we hit some garage sales this morning. We went to about 15 and um, we, we, were, we were only gone like three hours. Yeah. The first few we went through real quick because they had like... Cars. We didn't buy it, yeah. yeah. But um, we did end up finding some good things, I think, some interesting things. Just but, not the bulk. Right. Like we... like we Not, not like a truckload. Full. No, no, yeah. no, no. No. Yeah. But we, we found some, I think we found some okay stuff here. Paid a dollar for a hat. Yeah, Fallout. What's it called, Fallout Boy? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, or no, or that's a band, right? <laughs> Fall, Fall, <laughs> Fallout was just the name of the game. I don't know what, what is that, his name? I have no idea. Is that what Attaboy or something? I have no idea. <laughs> I might be making stuff know, up. His name's Golly G or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look like a, a 1950s, like, logo or something <laughs> gotcha pal <laughs> so yeah bethesda so I paid a buck for that and then uh i ended up i paid five for these two controllers this is similar to the controller they they drive drive submarines with <laughs> oh my god is what? it wired yeah it's wired no the one for the sub oh yeah i think so i think it was i don't know i'm not positive though uh but yeah i got this and this for five dollars and that wasn't the greatest of buys. This, I mean, this might be like 20 bucks. This is like $9 or something like okay, that. Well, so yeah. It'll make a little profit anyway. This is cool. This is a concert tee from 1819 tour. Yep, Fleetwood Mac. And it's worth between 25 and 30. And I told Lonnie, one reason I think it's worth a little bit more is because um, it's not black. There's, you know, most concert tees are gonna be black or white or whatever, and this is a color. So there are a couple of solds on there for the twenty-five to thirty-dollar range. Okay. Uh, look, turn it over on oh, the yeah. back. It's got the concert dates on it. Yeah, well, the cities. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, they yeah. they did they a lot did of they did New Orleans. Yeah, that's where this T-shirt came from, New Orleans. Okay. The couple we bought it from. In fact, I'm jealous. They're going to see Paramore in New Orleans. I think they said next week. I this oh I paid three dollars for that. Okay. This is um, Cabbage Patch fabric from, it does have 1983 on it. I, I kind of looked briefly at comps um, and I didn't see this exact fabric and I didn't even, I didn't measure mine. I don't know how big mine is to what I saw. So it looks like maybe 20 bucks, but those could be smaller pieces. I don't know. So I, I don't know. It's worth a shot. Yep. So um, they had it marked for five and I offered three and she took it. Okay. Um, I bought the same place I bought these controllers. I bought this is a uh, man. The condition of this thing is just gorgeous. Battery compartment. If you open it, look. Just slide this that way. That way. Yeah, it'll pop off. The whole thing comes off. This whole part right here. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, it does have uh, rechargeables, rechargeables in it, uh, and it has the charger. It has an antenna, and it has um headphones and uh we only paid look i only had to pay two dollars it does work it's not worth a ton i think with the accessories we have there um you know we're probably looking at somewhere between 30 to 45 dollars that's pretty good like. yeah no no it's it's very good right, these these are bex robotics we have like the excavator steam roller scissor lift and a skid steer three different vehicles yeah and they're all factory sealed yes um and we paid two dollars a piece for them actually they were in a box it said five dollars per item but i i didn't even see the sign yeah. and i asked and the lady told me two dollars each look so. they were set up like in their front yard it was blazing hot oh man and the sale had already been going on a few hours so i think they were ready to just make deals <laughs> right okay. right yeah. so I'm, i this as far as i could tell it's not worth a ton but it's probably going to get about 40 to 50 dollars plus shipping is what i'm i'm guessing yeah. something like that yeah. okay this next table full of stuff we got all this and a few other things at a sale um that we actually went to a couple weeks ago and then we were on our way to another sale and the this sale happened to be on the same street we yeah. didn't even know we were going to we it. didn't know what was happening um 
somehow I missed their little advertisement and we've, we've been to them before and they do, they have pretty good prices and we talked to him today and he does buy storage units. Yeah. And he says they, he said they do sell some stuff online and then they have garage sales too. So. Yeah. But we've already bought a pretty good bit of stuff that we've done. We've already sold on eBay from them. Yeah. So there's, even though they're resellers, there's still plenty of room. I think they're picky about what they sell online. Like know? maybe they only like, sell like higher value. Yeah, like extremely picky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all these shoes, he, um, he wanted $5 a pair. I asked him if he'd take three and he met me in the middle at four. So yeah, the, the thing they all have going for them. Clean. Look at the condition of them, y'all. Yeah, I mean, all these shoes are in like. I mean, I'm not saying perfect. They're not new, but they're in great condition. Yeah, they're very nice used condition. Although I, I'm, I'm questioning if these were even ever worn right here. You know. Yeah, these are uh, DC, I think. Nigel. Um, uh, that's the skater. Yeah. I, I have heard of this skater before, so that's their signature shoe or whatever. Both of these are the red and the gray. Yeah um candace kind of looked these up briefly these are worth about 25 a pair 25 to 30 yeah and then you look those up too right these are super guy yeah they're probably about 25. i've never heard of that brand before. i have they're they're a pretty high-end um sneaker company you can pick them up and feel they're made well yeah the the soles are nice and solid that looked at that gummy looking sole yeah they're like a nicer version of a converse right um speaking of that speaking of converse um these are just some their junior size all stars probably about 15 to 20 bucks okay you know? um these are going to be probably a woman's size or maybe a teenage girl they've got the double yeah um, i've seen those before yep. and then some a uh, couple of pair of vans some high top either ladies or kids vans and then these i'm not super crazy about this color combination yeah those are weird huh it's like looks like for a toddler or something or maybe if you're dressing like the color blocks man that's like a 90s <laughs> yeah. isn't that like a 90s color block looking thing 80s. 80s 80s yeah that's true well 90s too but yeah that started in the 80s and those are vans also right yes, those are vans and i mean look look at the condition yeah i don't think these were ever worn that that's one good thing like that was a factor like and paying not not that we paid up i don't i don't think paying four dollars is paying up like i told y'all before converse is getting harder and harder to find them for less than five dollars at garage sales at least in our area so to be able to pick them up for under that and them and shoes be super clean i'm happy with that you know? the, the only downside to these shoes is some of them are fairly small mm -hmm. i wish they were all adult but they're not but the good the on the plus side they're clean which clean means a we'll get we'll get whatever we're supposed to get money wise and b uh it drastically changes the amount of time it takes to list them and if you are going to do children's shoes as a, like lonnie told me earlier it's a great time of year because people are starting to do back to school shopping yep so it's a good time of year to list children's shoes. and if or if they aren't now they will in the next month or two yep. right yeah our kids go back to school in just a little over like five weeks like a little right. over a month yeah um also at that sale i got these crochet clowns for a dollar each i've done well with them in the past i'll probably light them up i do like he has a uh, bottle i don't know what that's all about but yeah he's he needs he probably has liquor in it look oh, at yeah. the look at the dirty feet yeah they're uh their their feet are so weird they're look correct. at those big old wide toes they're not dirty they're made to look dirty is what you're saying well oh no i don't mean they're really i don't think yeah. that's like really like toe cheese or yeah. something <laughs> it's weird how they colored them i know why would you want to try to make it look dirty <laughs> dirty clown yep all right. all right we have a little bit more stuff to show you, you paid a dollar for those yeah a dollar right? each yeah. yeah all right the sale where we bought all the shoes and the clowns and what else uh, that was that was it yep shoes uh, and clowns we also bought a couple of helmets these are pretty rough uh did only pay three dollars a piece for them this is a brand i've never bought before adams i think it's probably a vintage brand but look at that cool old lsu logo bayou bengals logo yeah that's cool i love that I'll, I'll see what i can do as far as cleaning up some of these scuffs yeah that's a weird looking thing well there. something it's transferred off of something so that should come off yeah yeah I'll, I'll probably have to magic erase it. This is just going to end up being a display piece for sure. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. 
It looks like old, the old school uh, old Miss Rebel. No, or no, maybe not. No, no, cars. no. It looks like uh, like the, uh, Oklahoma State. That's what it looks Sooners? like. Sooners? Are they Sooners? The Cowboys, I think. Uh, yeah, Cal Oklahoma State. I think that's who they are. This one looks pretty good inside. Yeah, that's a uh, Red Redell or Rydell yeah, yeah. Victory air helmet or whatever i guess this means that those are the years it was certified or something uh maybe no that might be games play that might be uh, some kind like of a, tackles a, a, achievements and, or yeah, something touchdowns stuff like that yeah I'm trying to pull this off of here right this will show the first year 17 okay 20, initial season 2017 this one is beat to hell yeah so three dollars each for those as a matter of fact i, I almost wonder if it looks like this helmet and this helmet were clashing. See? Because look. Is that orange? But this one has red. So it wasn't like... <laughs> <laughs> but look. Check this out. It's got old school looking. It's like foam, a like piece of... Like styrofoam. It does have a place for some other... Some padding, yeah. To be like Velcroed. Or, it's uh, interesting. I did see where people sell vintage Adams brand like chin straps and face guards and for stuff. For good money, too. Yeah. It's, it's weird. You like, saw like chin one... Chin strap for 15, face guard for 20. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think that'll have some kind of value. Uh, this is a cool hat. Yeah. Resist all. Um, it, it's beaver. It's a 4X... It's a resist all self conforming 4X Beaver made in Texas. And it had five, uh, 10 on it, and we paid five. I asked if she would take five, and she did. Yep. We bought something else at this sale. I think so. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, though. Uh, but yeah, the, I've, I've sold these resist all hats before in the past. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they do pretty well. It's, it's uh, you know, it might not get quite as much as like a, oh, that's cool. Oh, look. What's it got on it? Check it out. Look who signed that. It's, well, I mean, it's not really like a live signature or anything, but look what it says. Somebody Stewart? No. What? George Strait. Oh, it's a George Strait hat. Does he wear a black hat like that? I'm sure he has. I don't know what he wears now. Well, no, isn't there one of them country guys that always wears a black hat? Is that Clint Black? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know country music. <laughs> but that's a hell of a deal for five bucks. It's in good shape, too. Yeah. All right, we have some other stuff to show you. Just two more things. Yep. Okay, y'all are going to think this is silly. <laughs> but I saw this big, this box of paper at a sale. And check it out. It's like floor mats for what? mechanics. Yeah, or dealerships will use them or whatever. Yeah. Well, this must be a mechanic since it has that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I got, we got a whole thing of them. So and it started out with 500. I don't know how many's in there. It's pretty close because look. There ain't much room here. Yeah. I think it's I think it's pretty full. I did happen to look just out of curiosity. I saw where people sell a box of five hundred of just generic ones for around forty five bucks. So, um, but that's not why you bought this, right? No, I bought it. I, I bought it because it was four dollars, and I'm like, that could be like that's cheap packing paper, and yep. it's it's good clean. It's a good thickness. Yep why not and then they also had this box of office depot packing paper so he had this price it was weird man this is priced at four and this is priced at eight and i was like hey would you just sell that to me for four dollars also and he did yeah so both of them for eight dollars so we got a ton of packing paper here for um eight dollars let me show y'all what i got the other day that i think uh it's 40 bucks on amazon this thing so I couldn't I couldn't not buy this yeah. when you know based on what I normally spend on paper. Right. So uh seems like there was one more thing. I can't find it anywhere. Okay. Oh, it's on your back. Oh. <laughs> you, I forgot you fr he was back there. <laughs> I thought I was in training. No, that's the other thing. That's the other thing that we uh we bought when we bought the um the cowboy hat. The cowboy hat. Yeah. They had that hanging on a fence. They did. I walked right up to it. And the first thing I checked for was his tag, Disney Parks. Okay. So I knew I was going to buy it. Um, she had it marked for eight, I believe. Yes. And I offered five and she took it. And then that that's, and then she, yeah, she was willing to take the offers on that yeah. stuff. Isn't he cool though? He's cool, except his face is all wrong. His face does not look right. 
You know what I mean? It's hard to get it right. I know and because he's just are, a... Yeah, it's just a... But I think it's cool how they have him positioned like Luke in training, like his, riding on the back. Don't his claws kind of creep you out a little bit? He, he always cre he crept me out. He crept. <laughs> it's the past tense of getting creeped out. He crept. crept. He always creeped me out. I don't know why. But the baby one Uh, Because he's green. He's three but foot the tall. The baby one doesn't. Yeah. I guess it's maybe the hair in conjunction. I don't know. The baby one's cute. He's creepy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's everything we got. And... Uh, Candace is dragging me and Molly to an auction tonight. Look, I've previewed the stuff. I don't. I really will be surprised if we buy anything, but you never know. <laughs> there may be stuff they didn't show in their pictures. Candace, so. Candace is dragging. I'm, I'm humoring Candace. No, well, we can go and preview early, and we can just cut out if we don't think we're going to bid on anything. Okay. You know, so we'll see. Yeah, but if we do buy anything, we'll show y'all. Yeah. Uh, it's weird, though, because there are no... Um, estate sales this weekend. Yeah, I think it's because it is the weekend going up to 4th of July. And usually right. I've noticed estate sale companies do not like to have sales around holidays because nope. they know people go out of town. So I told Lonnie there will probably be a ton next weekend. It's yeah, why would you run an estate sale on a holiday yeah. a holiday weekend when you're... Although if you do, you're going to be the only one. <laughs> yeah, but then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah okay. you're right. I, I get it. Or maybe they might all get together. Mm -hmm. You know, they might all just get together and say, hey, look, let's sit this weekend out. They they might. You think? No. <laughs> they probably all hate each other and never not. talk to each other. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll show y'all. Uh, if, if we buy anything. Yeah, if we buy anything, we might show y'all some stuff later. All right. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day or no two days later two days it's later two days later it's monday morning yeah because the other footage was from saturday good morning yeah. candace good morning <laughs> so we have two things to talk about before we start pulling orders on a monday morning uh well first order three is already things, i think okay go ahead i'm sorry no you can name three things if you want but the, one of the things is this is our first order this was in the truck i want to go ahead and get it out before it got got hot today yeah Picked this up from storage yesterday. This is uh, Batman. He sold for two eighty something. Yeah, we've had a lot of interest in him since we've had him listed, but couldn't quite get him sold, and finally he sold. I think he had some issues. He does. His his costume has some little uh, messed up areas, but he would still look really cool displayed. So yeah, I'm happy somebody. We had him, him, and we had a Joker. Yeah. That were like this, and the Joker sold probably six months ago or yeah, something. Yeah, the Joker was the Heath Ledger one. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're both cool. Just their packaging and everything. I'm not going to open it up too much. Real quick, you can see. But yeah, look. Look it's at all the little parts. It's got all the different hands and all kind of parts. You can change out the head, too. There's like two or three heads, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it's really cool. It is. So we have that going out. That's going to be going UPS, of course. Oh, look, look what we did. The third thing. Yeah, yeah. Th this is the thing I forgot about. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to roll with... Two on there. Uh, man, roll. I know. I, I don't know if we're going to roll with this like that. Because uh, we weren't planning on... So we bought a, just a, a short piece of PVC. It came in two foot lengths in the middle of the aisle. Yeah. So that's why we ended up being that wide. Wasn't planning on putting two rolls up here, but I'll just see how it works. It might... It, might it just, may not work out. Yeah, we'll see. But we we at least have one. And all we did, we just bought a length of chain for, it's about $5. Mm -hmm. We got we bought five feet of this chain from uh, Home Depot. Got the guy to come cut it and write out a slip. It was like... Like the fabric department, you ladies know, when you buy fabric by the yard, they write out your slip. They do that with the chain when they cut it to it length It seems point. so weird in the day... And then the poor Nowadays, girl at the checkout was trying to read his hand. Oh, she had to, yeah, she had to punch in this long. There's gotta be a better way, like if they could punch. I think now actually, like Walmart's fabric department, they do punch it in and it spits out a label. Oh, that you info. could scan at checkout. Yes. Yeah. So Home Depot needs to get with the times. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we got so this is about we paid about ten dollars for this stuff, piece of PVC pipe, um, piece yep. of chain, and then we have those hooks up there, there, and on the other side. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, feels good to at least get started with it anyway. I don't know if that's going to be the the end result. I, I do like how the PVC sits 
on these you see how the chains are long the they're links are long, long. And kind of flattened and yeah. they're flat so it's like kind of locked in it's not going to slide side to side you know what i mean yep so we'll see how that goes i i don't know if i like this side by side thing that's the only I thought thing another option we have is we could always run another set right here you know i kind of don't want to do it above over here because i do take photos over yeah, here yeah that would make it dark right yeah so i, I want to keep it over here huh. all right let's talk about the auction yeah so the auction was uh it was interesting um that it was a lot of bad stuff we think maybe um we have an area in our little downtown that is like all the old original buildings the main street and it's like an antique alley it's all antique stores and it's turning into half it used to be just antiques but now there's a lot of like boutiques in there so and i've been noticing like just looking on facebook and stuff a lot of the antique vendors are like liquidating their stuff like getting mm -hmm. out of the business because i just i don't think the storefront is doing very well for that you know so it looked to us like this was maybe liquidation of a booth yep so um and then some other stuff thrown in there too but most of the stuff like i as soon as we went in and previewed this place i was good to go at that point but can but candace wanted to sit, go through it and i i did i we mean it was family out too it was, it was interesting yeah, like it, we, we brought molly and his mom so it was and good. then we went and ate dinner afterwards yeah. it was okay it was just the only the big problem with it it was hot in there it was like in the warehouse part of this building no air condition and it and it had been 100 degrees that day yes. i'm not i'm not saying like 100 degrees it was actually was like 100 degrees that day and even at night it was in the 80s in this room it, man it was just and a lot of people left after like the first hour it was just miserable yeah you know? I, i'm willing to try it again though because i know it depends on who brings what yeah on a particular given day and another thing like i think in the future maybe we will because they opened the preview like over two hours before the auction maybe go preview it and if we see stuff we like go grab something to eat and come back and do right. it you know um we we bid on two things and won those two things um one of them was a set of bowls just for ourselves yeah but... and it was interesting how this went down they had like this glassware stuff set up on the table and it was choice high bidder gets the choice yeah and there there were these bowls i wanted up there with all these things so the first bidding went up really high like over twenty dollars and and i knew what they were going for there was a set of the um corral golden butterfly dishes sitting there next to the bowls i wanted which were also corral um so the the bidder went up there i'm like darn are they gonna let her get the dishes and the bowls and she just took the dishes i'm like cool no so they started another round of bidding and it went too high again so then they didn't take the bowls the second time. <laughs> so then Alani had the, the number card. No, no, I did not have the number card yet. I was sitting there just kind of uh, <laughs> being hot, just like, <laughs> duh, oh, wow, they're auctioning some bowls. This is awesome. Thanks for bringing me here, Candace. <laughs> Next thing I know, Candace is jabbing the auction, the, the number card with You're our ready. number on it. She's like, I want those bowls. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so they started the bidding. Um, and they didn't get any bids and by the time i told him and he raised up his number they went whole table <laughs> you're right yeah before i knew it i was bidding on the whole damn table and i bid five dollars on the whole table i'm like oh god and I'm like here we go candace you did it again so nobody else bid so we got the whole rest of the table it wasn't a lot of nah. stuff but we had no idea because we were sitting in the very back row and we could not see so we had no idea what else we had bought. Yeah. And I mean, it's. You have it in here. Yeah. It's oh, okay. A, it's a clear. Uh, oh, you got juicer, it, which you, I love these. I actually use them, so it's a spare for me. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is really cool and pretty. Except it's missing a. It's missing a glass. Okay. It's look how thin and fragile this. It's hand blown glass in this little carrying tray. What about your bowls? My bowls are washed and in the cabinet. Okay. They're just little white Corel um, bowls. We like to use those. Yeah, we just needed more. Um, this would be cute to like hold cupcakes or something though. There you go. Oh, hmm. cupcake tray. Just yeah. take, smash those glass, throw them away, yeah. and then sell a cupcake cupcake uh, right? holder. Okay. So okay, so then we won that, and then we have a second thing we won. All right, this was the main reason we stayed as long as we did. Um, for these and i think a few other people did too 
yeah so these are it's lion oil uh, oil company that ran in the arkansas texas parts of louisiana that area yeah. they had 400 service stations at one point it started in 1922 they still operate sort of but i think it's like just bulk like just production yeah yeah, yeah they don't do any they yeah. don't have service stations or anything no. so there are these little trays that are set up and you could this is what i mean we know they were in a booth somewhere because they were each individually priced that, well yeah that's 65 dollars for that yeah so um we kind of i looked up the patches i know the patches sell for around ten dollars each and then you have all this other stuff which worth point uh ebay nowhere did i find any of this other we, stuff we did find somebody that ran an auction on a collection of stuff like a collection similar to just like this yeah and they got 20 bucks for it yeah um at auction though right so i want to make collections somewhat simple like I, i'm thinking we could get like for the stuff right here probably about 30 bucks yeah 30 to 40 somewhere mm -hmm. in there yeah depending on what's in it um yeah so they it was interesting how they did it they had them i'm in, glad they did it like this yeah they had them in piles like there was three piles yeah there's 12 like three equal amount of piles there's 12 total frames yeah and i was really worried that they were gonna do like choice of one and then because if they would have done choice the only way i would buy it is if we got it for that one bid of five dollars right but then the, the way they would normally do it they would go they would start at 20 nobody would bid they would drop to 10 Every nobody time. would bid and then they would go to five and then would and then 10 people would bid because everybody knows the game right yeah so that that's why i didn't want them to do choice of 12 right and then end up going to five because then i would have to be the first one in or i wouldn't want it right and and so the, i wanted to spend i was thinking we need to spend like about five dollars per thing right? right yeah so what they did instead was go ahead so they set them up in lots and three lots of um for um, each yeah so i did some quick math so they did like this yeah so I did some quick math. I was like, okay, I was willing to spend five per. Now they have them in stacks of four oh, each. Mm -hmm. Choice. They were still doing choice. Choice of stack, yeah. Choice of stack. And then, uh, so anyway, I was able to bid at that point. Went back and forth a few times. Ended up winning them for 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 for each stack. So we paid 60 And so, bucks. yeah, we took we took all three. We paid 60 bucks. Yeah. And I definitely would have liked to get them a little lower, but there, nah, were, there were a few people bidding. No, nah, that wasn't going to happen. I was fine at an auction. This was probably the best thing in there. I mean, they had some, some nice furniture and stuff, just not stuff for us, you know? Yeah. Um, so. No, nah, I was happy. I was really happy with this buy, actually. Yeah. And we'll there's not a lot of like lonnie said there's not a ton of this there's there's patches out there but not there's not this other stuff mm -mm. we've got like keychains and these metal these cool metal rulers yeah and then these these airplanes and yeah those are look those are airplanes isn't that cool that now, is so cool these we we think they're pl they look like plastic bottle caps almost that maybe they're a replacement for the oil can spout top like to put on the spout yeah just to cap it off um there's one set in here that has them new in the package and then there's something else in here we have no idea what it is don't know what that is yeah I it almost know. looks like a um floss container i know that's exactly what i was thinking it was and then like this is there's you know another kind of keychain there oh that's a hat that's a little um rain, hat. rain bonnet yeah you know, bonnet. Mm -hmm. i remember those from the 70s oh look the, the planes have the little clips yep. mm -hmm. for the weights yeah yeah, so just some cool little things. Yeah, I thought those are... Up. We're going to make some fun lots. And the cool thing is, like, um, probably sell, like, how many items? One, two, three, four, five. Probably, like, six, seven items per lot. I told Lonnie, let's just take them out and sell that. That's a lot. You know? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. As is. But, yeah, it was... You know what? I, it was... Without the heat, if stuff would have been a little better, I would have been fine with it. So we might try again later. There's another auction tomorrow. We're not going tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this stuff moved and uh, we need to pull some orders. All right, we had a fairly, I would say a fairly mediocre weekend. Um, there were a few high points. Batman was good, of course. Uh, but then 
It just picked up last night. Oh, la late last night, early this morning, uh, sales just started coming in. Like, yeah. like I think we're up around 300 in sales for today already. Yeah, so which is very, very rare. Over the weekend, we sold um, 32 items, including one on Macari. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing is going to be some spark plugs on CC14. Um, they're champion. There's four of them in like a beige and red box. Okay. 14. Yeah. It feels good to have all my spark plugs listed. Yeah. Now it's just going to sit there and sell. Sell. Exactly. These are RN5C. Yep, RN5C, one, two, three. And I got three brown, one red box. $15 for those. Okay. On one Bravo, a Louisville Slugger Youth Baseball Glove. One Bravo, Louisville Slugger, yep. That is it. Sold that for 12 Okay. Um, MU8, we sold two Boy Scouts uh, Weebelows patches. There's MU8? Yeah. There's four in there. They bought two of them. Okay. They bought quantity. Right here. Okay. So two of those together was $19.98. Okay. I'm going to have to check and see if it double charged them on the shipping or not. Yeah. All right. 10 Echo, Build-A-Bear, uh, The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. 10 Echo. So this is going to be a big old stuffed animal kind of thing? Yeah. I wonder if he's behind those canisters. There he is. No, that's the other bear. He's over there, I think. Uh. Or is that Air Force Bear? No, that's a different one. That's him. Okay. Is he electronic or something? He is. But it's it's one of those ones where the kid can record their voice and oh. it says like I the beast or something like that. I the beast. <laughs> I thought he was cute though. Look he's got like the castle on his feet and stuff, so he sold pretty cheap for some yeah, reason. Yeah, $11.24. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the chest drawer, Monster High little vinyl dog. It's Frankie Stein's pet. It's a little dog with like a patch on his eye. What color is it? Brown. Oh, is that it with the... Yep. Uh, it's just $7 for that. Okay. Seven Bravo. It's a, a new and packaged Shopkins set uh, wedding party collection. Seven Bravo shop can set. It's on card. You know what? I think we've had this for a long time. Didn't we get this when we bought uh, the, the HVA uh, stuff? Oh, I was thinking it was when we bought. Um, we got some Shopkins stuff whenever we bought the Walmart. But pens. I don't think that's where that came from. Okay. Yeah. Or no, it might have been. You know, you remember? I think once? you're right. I think you were right. Okay. Yeah. We bought this same time we bought the Walmart pens. Yeah. $25 for that. Okay. Uh, two Bravo, a lot of woodworking DVDs. Yeah, just listed those. Yep. Two Bravo? Yep, yep right here. What did we get for those? 25 So I think we sold the wood turning for 40 We sold these for 25 so we've gotten 65 back. Would you pay like 15 or 20? I think, no, I paid 20, yeah. yeah. Uh, 65 in sales so far from $20. And then we still have another $25 in listed DVDs. Yeah. So, you know, it's okay. Not so, a home run, but it'll, it'll, do it'll end up being $90 out of 20. I'll do that all day. Yeah. That's, that's good enough. Hey, Charlie, build a bear pink witch outfit. Okay. Hey, Charlie. This must be it here. This is it, huh? Now where she went? Oh, you hiding from me? <laughs> well, you were peeking through to see. I was looking to see 
if I had the next item. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. We had a lot of, my, like a lot of people kept liking that on Macari. Even got um, like a really low offer. So I, as many likes as we got, I knew it would sell maybe closer to Halloween. We need to make sure you uh, take that sucker down then. I did. I went through and took everything down. Oh, you did? Okay. $12 for that. Five Echo Tora Lee Monster High Doll. That's someone Candace was going ahead of me. Y'all don't see y'all don't see the behind the scenes stuff. But Candace. Unless he gets fast on me like you just did. Candace ran over here. Oh, you thought I was gonna be digging. Oh, that little doll thing, he's gonna be digging for a while for that. Yeah. yeah. That's all for 12. Okay. I always think that looks like Blockbuster font and colors on that Monster High mm -hmm. megaphone. It's interesting. We had a couple of like back to back sales that were like same or similar items, but different people. And even one was on two different platforms, like back to back, literally. This is one of those other things. It's two cookbooks, two different buyers. Uh, six Bravo La Fouchette. Six Bravo. Blue cover. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. La Fouchette. Recipes from Bay Bayou La Fouche. Yep. Uh, $16.87. Okay, that's a very specific <laughs> price. When y'all hear a price that sounds very specific like that, it's usually an offer or a sale. Yep. Three Bravo, talk about good two cookbook. That's a cookbook from Lafayette. Got George Rodriguez painting on it. Let's talk about good two. Yeah. And so it's not mercy, it's good. It's talk about good. Yeah. Uh, somebody stole from somebody on that, huh? Well, we want to say talk about good, but... Talk about good. The first one's been around for a long time. Uh, a pretty famous um, artist here from Louisiana that did all the illustrations. No, he did all the blue dogs or whatever. George Rodriguez, yeah, yeah. but it's got a lot of his uh, illustrations in here. Look at that. Kiss me, I'm Cajun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that one sold for $20. Okay. Yeah. 12 Delta dash L is that hand carved Austrian woman. Oh yeah. That we got from Kevin and Danielle. I can't believe, I can't believe that sold. Why? Huh? Why? Because I don't know. I just don't. Yeah. I, I mean, it's cool enough. Sure. $23. It is nice. There's actually a pretty famous woodworking artist. I think from that region that some people, um, I think in the water. Is that Austria? Yeah. Okay. People in the watercolor told me it might be him, but I couldn't confirm it because there's no signature, but it does look like his work. And I okay. Don't, I don't remember his name. 23 for that. All right. In the alien drawer, a set of cross pen and pencil. So 30, 35 for that. Is this right here on the green thing? Yep. 35? Yep. We bought this in a private. We had early access to an estate sale. So it's kind of one of those things where we just had to kind of, there was no dickering. We just right. had to pay what to pay their price. So I asked her on the cross pens and stuff. I think she, I ended up paying, I believe $5 a pen. Yeah. So we, this would have been $10 right yeah. here. We bought, um, we bought several sets. So, yeah. So, I mean, basically do I want to make, 25 gross profit or not it was binary it wasn't make an offer it was either take it or leave it and we chose to take it yeah so i was i'm happy with the profit though mu8 a blue dsi okay yeah we're getting closer and closer to selling through wait it's over here selling through our video game buy that we made and we'll be able to finally finish making that video $55 for that. I like that color. Yeah. 10 Alpha. Oh, this is another thing. We saw three reels back to back, three different buyers. Yeah. I mean, 10 Alpha uh, reel, the Letterman. Are there any more in 10 Alpha? Yeah, the Letterman, Mamas and Papas in Chicago. Okay, I'll go ahead and grab the. No, Chicago's not a Oh, you said 10 Alpha. Could be this thing. The reels are killing it. So that one has the Letterman and Mama and Papa's. Okay, we have a Best of the Letterman. Best of 1966. Okay, and then we have Mama's and Papa's Farewell. 
Yes. Is that the one? Yeah. So this one is 15. Okay. I don't, is this the right one? I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. It says best of 1960, but that looks like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. The other I one may have had another one. I don't know. Yeah. Um, 15 for this one and 20 for this one. And then Chicago's in 8 Alpha. 8 Alpha? Okay. Which one is it? Chicago. It's the one with the brown cover. The green. I'm not sure if we even have more than one anyway. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It looks like wood green. Grab it. We only have one back here. Uh, Chicago. It's Chicago five, actually. Okay. Yep. Chicago. Got it. Twenty-five for that one. Okay. We'll keep it going. I can just stack this stuff up. Bravo uh, Vintage Computer Software for Commodore 128. CAD Pack. Yeah. 8 Bravo, you said? Yep. I think this was a Kevin and Danielle buy. Maybe? I'm not even sure. Man, that was... Yeah, I don't remember. I think it was from them. Man, I can't imagine doing CAD on that oh, old of a computer, oh, man. man. That must have been. Whew. We sold a Mar the cigarette brand bag. Marlboro? Yeah, for a Delta. Marl A. <laughs> All right. Next thing is figure out where to put the America Bubble Boy link down below. Bubble wrap that I'm not using when. We just need to hang chains all over the place. Oh, that's true, huh? We can just hang some more chains. <laughs> Marl A, right? And it's on four. Okay, so I'm in the right place. Right. One of those, probably. Maybe. Army, army. Ah, here it is. Got it. Marl A. I think that's the second one of those backpacks we've sold so far. Or not backpack, uh, duffel bag yeah, or whatever. It's like a, a gym bag. $25 for that. Okay. All right. Six Foxtrot, a little uh, German weather station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny story about this. That was actually. Uh... When we were putting the air conditioning in and rearranging, it was tucked back in that shoe cube thing and not listed so right. i listed it and it's old yeah we had a couple of things like that yeah. all right it's That's got old. a thermometer on it yeah and it does the humidity somehow with the way the people i don't know how it works according to this it's 78 down there yeah i don't mm -hmm. seem right i think it does you think yeah yeah that's kind of hot 18 dollars for that okay we have some more spark plugs spark plugs on cc14 Lot of seven champion. That's the one I was in. That other set we didn't actually have a location on, but I went and looked at the date they had been listed and figured out it was probably either this one or the other one that was up there. So I found it pretty quick. Is it 306? Yeah, seven of them. Got it. $13 for those. Okay. Next item is a Wii on 8 Alpha with hookups. Okay. 8 Alpha? Yep. Yep, it's got hookups. It does not have Controller. controllers. It says that in the title. Yep. That's all for 35. Okay. We sold a Bible on three Delta. It's a Bible from 1944. Uh, Holy Scriptures according to the Masonic text. Three Delta? Yep. All right, let me move my bubble wrap again from America Bubble Boy. Link down below. All right. Um, what's it called again?
Rough looking Bible, huh? Yeah, yeah this sucker's been through it. $13 for that. Okay. Keep it going. We'll fill the bench up. I'll figure it out. Italiana. Hey, you got to say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, next time we go to storage, yeah. we've got two left okay. over there. $30 for that. Okay. I sold a Clio on eBay and on Mercari if you want to just go ahead and pull them okay. both. Yeah. Five Bravo. Five Bravo. Two of them? Yep. Look, how convenient. There's actually exactly two in that little bucket. Isn't that That's magical? Amazing. It's magic. Yeah, magical. She really is. All right. Two Charlie, the lot of 69 spark plugs. Two Charlie. Yep. These were a bunch of singles. It was mostly singles. Spark plugs that I have one or two of. And single spark plugs, I, I, don't get me wrong, you can sell single spark plugs. Yeah. But I can't. <laughs> or I don't want to. $35 for that lot. So I just put all the ones I still had after I put list all those other lots, put all these on the bench, and uh, sold them for $40? 40, so $35. 35 okay. That's good. And then the last USPS item is in the JoJo. It's a Pokemon um, Game Boy Advance case. Yeah, this came in the video game buy that I haven't really talked about too much yet. Yeah, $60 but for that. This was a good part of it yeah. there. Yeah. All right, so that is all of the smalls that are going out. Or you in the USPS that's going out. I call USPS smalls these days. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get to packing that while Candace starts listing yeah you got all those shoes and, and some other stuff up here from the garage sales yeah yeah we ought to have a good listing day today and my yoda oh yeah and my clowns yeah you got y'all have fun over there yeah i'm gonna have fun over here yeah okay i made really good time today for some reason um not sure why these only took about two hours and ten minutes to pack and i got all the usps ready to roll um so i am going to bag these up get them ready for our carrier and after lunch we'll pull the ups orders and get those packed okay it is after lunch now and um I, so i use this to pack all those orders and i am very happy with it like we kind of got lucky because i considered using rope but I thought it would be easier to connect and disconnect a chain. So we got chain instead of rope. And I'm so glad we did because you'll see how this, see this corner here. And then this corner here where these links are, that, that makes it like not be able to slide back and forth like it would on a rope. Yeah, it's not shifting to the left and right. No, it just... It's stationary. And you can see there's, you know, when it spins, there's, yeah, it's fine. works great. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I have, I, I really just don't have any complaints. Yeah. None. So, yeah, this is, uh, obviously we should have done this a long time ago, or I should have done this a long time ago, but it's done now and I love it. This thing is awesome. Uh, how much did we spend on this? It was less than 15 yeah. And we could have done it cheaper too if we would have went to like Harbor Freight or something. They probably could probably do it for less than ten. Yeah. Um, I think this this little piece of PVC. A lot of this was just convenience, right? This right. two foot piece that of was PVC. Like four bucks or yeah, it's four or five bucks. The chain was like five bucks. The little things there. We bought a multi pack of those, so we have some more of those left. Yeah. We do use them occasionally. So. Yeah. In uh, fact. I, I just told Lonnie the other day I want to put another one here because like I was listing that military clothing and I was doing two um, sets at a, you know, at a time yeah. in one lot and that way they could kind of hang side by side so we're probably going to take one and mm -hmm. put it up there on the to the left of the other one yeah so. well, yeah don't be like me and be stubborn and just like oh well, I don't need that you know I'll just throw my bubble wrap anywhere because I'm I love that that works awesome yeah 
Uh, well, okay, it's time for UPS stuff now. We you already know about this. I just threw it up here to get it out the way. That has to go. Tell them what it sold for. I don't believe. Um, yeah, it's about two eighty something. Two eighty three and fifty cents. Okay, there you go. Yep. And then uh, I went ahead and pulled this off of two Delta because kind of it's kind of hard to get it out of there. Yeah, that's a, a big Princess House punch bowl set. Um, we sold that for 30 and it's not super heavy, but it's just bulky because it needs to be packed so well. Um, the packaging in there is, you know, to protect it. So it's going UPS. Okay. And then, um, Fun. <laughs> yeah, we have two nutcrackers in one order. Okay. They're okay. 12 Delta L. 12 Delta L. That's going to be on this side. The variant with the variant. A, B, C, D. Okay, is it this guy right here? Yes, and then 12 Charlie L. Okay, you take him. We have him. another one, although I don't see him. What's he, is he holding a glass also? Yeah. 12 Charlie L? Let me maybe, look. wait, wait, maybe he's right there. Is that him? No, no he has a sack. The Santa. Okay, let me, let me check this again. Okay. All right, we had a, we had a bad location on this guy take about two minutes to find them kind of fun now you don't realize how many crackers are in here until you start looking for one yeah but. we kind of had to look for the hat because you know okay so the um one on the left sold for 60 and the one on the right sold for 50. okay and you would i mean i would think this would be the more expensive one just because i think he just has better detail oh yeah he does this is steinbeck though so oh that's why yeah yep okay so, all righty uh is that it that's everything yep. okay well that's not too bad i can handle that yep all right uh let me get this stuff packed and then man i might even with the i might even get to list today on a monday can that you never happens it? i know especially since i you know one thing normally that's helping you, normally you would be editing after you exactly pack, and you're not gonna be editing exactly tomorrow. i'll either edit i might edit tonight or tomorrow i don't know but yeah, yeah this this new video release schedule so far has been pretty nice. Yeah. We're still shooting a lot of video. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yep. But uh, yeah. All right. Let me get these guys packed and that guy up there. Okay. I wish I would have been running camera because uh, I was taking this thing out. I didn't do it. <laughs> Lonnie pulled up on this and it just... I, I mean i was just pulling up i was pulling first i pulled up on this and then i was like okay i gotta get this thing out of here so i have one hand here and i have one hand here and i started pulling up on it and this just broke off and i immediately just let go and like looked at my hand yeah luckily was like, he didn't slice his hand open uh, you oh, got a couple of little places oh i do yeah all right okay could have been a lot worse because yeah it was a big old long piece look at that I can't believe how fragile that was. Yeah, it's it's very fine thin crystal or glass or Oh whatever. my gosh. Yeah. Oh well. Uh. What's worse for it to break now or in transit? <laughs> now. Yeah. No, no, no. In transit would be worse. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, the bad news, well, I won't tell the customer this. Bad news is this broke and we had to refund it. Yeah. Good news is, I don't have to pack it now. So let me explain why we have this very fragile thing that only sells for $30, it's big and bulky. My mom was a Princess House consultant and she asked me to sell all her, her old stock. So that's why we were selling Was this. she? Yeah. She I didn't was, know that. She sold Princess House, yeah. I didn't know that, so she my mom that <laughs> Yeah, my mom has been like 500 things in my lifetime. Uh. She, she has sold Avon, Princess House, Mary Kay, um, she had her own daycare. She had an antique booth. Sorry, I'm just rambling. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, Candace, would you please... I wonder if we can sell the cups still. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, anyways, let me just get these guys packed. And um, after I uh, go clean this up, I don't want to leave blood on packages and stuff. Yeah. What a bummer. I just, I just, I mean, I just hate that the customer's not going to get it. All right, let me get back to it. 
All right, we actually hear the mail carrier out there right now picking up the packages, which means we're about to. <laughs> yeah, this crazy look on your face, like you saw something in the in the air. I was being dramatic. <laughs> Let me you do just it. Just looked insane. <laughs> so, so let me do it. I am insane. You didn't figure that out yet. In how many years? <laughs> so Batman is packed right there. He needs to go to UPS. Um, Candace wants to go to Sam's and I want to get some stuff at Sam's too. Yeah, Sam's we're Club. out of dog bones or dog bacon. Uh, begging strips for the dogs and then we, we, we need some stuff too. We don't need to tell them everything we buy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been listing a few things. Uh, I'm going to hold this off for tomorrow. I did list my hat, my Forex. George Strait hat. For, I prefer to call it my Forex Black Beaver hat, but you call it what you like, I guess. That thing... You don't remember before, Candace? You don't remember last year when I had another hat? It had a, a, a triple X black beaver. <laughs> well, this time I have a four X black beaver hat right here. Okay. And that's a George Strait model though, y'all. That's a real thing, George Strait design. If you wear that, you're pure country. Yeah, he did a movie called that, right? Yeah. yeah. He used to be kind of a big deal, right? That was that was his big time, yeah. In the 90s or something like that? Yeah. Uh, so, listed that for 100 And I think that price is right on. I think so. Listed my robotic stuff, wherever that is. The Vex Robotics. Is that all I listed? I think that's all yeah. listed. But Candace has been busy. She got those shoes listed. Yeah, I got, I got pretty much everything we picked up over the weekend listed. And then I'm doing the auction stuff now. Well, Not I mean, auction. But lots the stuff from the auction oh oh from the auction yeah you're not gonna auction so i've got 12 lots here and i'm just gonna do lot a lot b lot c like yep. that and um because they're not all the same they have different components and um we're thinking 40 dollars a lot so we'll try that out and see how it goes yeah candace was think candace was wanting to do 30 and yeah. i talked her into 40 and i was like you know these rulers are neat, huh? These are the kind you could tell the kind that you can flex them yeah. and they'll pop back. I'm not going to do it. But don't do that. Candace, I'm not. Candace wanted to do, don't drop it. <laughs> it don't under, drop it. It went under the bench, y'all. Okay, I'll get it in a second. We'll get it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, man, if we get 40 bucks a piece, that's 480. If we have to sell it 30 a piece, I don't think we're going to drop lower than that. That would still be 360. Yeah. That'd still be 300 profit. Yeah, I don't see us going lower than that because, I mean, these sell minimum $10 each. And look, these 10 are, to 15 These uh, are unused. I mean, right. look at that. Just look at it. Yep. And the good news is we did find, we did find enough comps that this isn't like um, nobody's ever heard of it or anything like that. Right. There's going to be a market. So. Yeah. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.